Donna Marcia Goldstein was born on September 20th, 1925 in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. She was the only child of Samuel Raymond Weingarten and Rose Evelyn Boehme. Her mother, Rose, was born the seventh of ten children to Meyer Boehm and Ida Garowitz. Meyer and Ida, like a wave of other Russian Jewish immigrants in the latter decades of the 19th century, fled the oppression, harsh treatment, and even murder taking place of Jews in Russia. Before 1772, the Jewish population in Russia had been quite small, but between 1772 and 1795, Russia dismantled the Kingdom of Poland and partitioned its territory between themselves, Prussia, and Austria. Russia's new territory now included modern-day Lithuania, Latvia, Belarus, and western Ukraine, along with millions of new Jewish subjects. Since 1804, when a Jewish statute was issued by Tsar Alexander I, barring a few exceptions, Jews in Russia were only legally permitted to reside within clearly defined territories in western Russia, which came to be known as the Pale of Settlement. The Russian state had always singled out Jews for special discrimination and limits on rights and freedoms, but recurrent resistance from the new Polish subjects to Russian domination led to ever-increasing harshness. Fearing unrest among the Jewish population, Tsar Nicholas I issued an edict in 1827 inducting young Jews into the Russian army. Male Jewish recruits were taken at the age of 12 for six years of training, and then at the age of 18 they began their mandatory 25-year period of service. Unwilling to submit to this discrimination and exploitation, by 1880 over 200,000 Jews had fled to America signaling just the beginning of Jewish mass migration to America in the latter decades of the 19th century. Treatment toward Russian Jews had become especially harsh after the assassination of Tsar Alexander II by revolutionaries in 1881. Since much of the inner circle of the revolutionaries had been Jewish, the assassination triggered a series of violent reprisals against the Jewish people. A series of pogroms, or government-sanctioned massacres, were launched between 1881 and 1882. It's in this atmosphere that Donna Goldstein's ancestors fled Russia for a better life in America. Her maternal grandparents, Meyer and Ida Boehm, came to America in 1890 and were married in 1891. By 1892, their first son, Samuel, was born and the family began to take new root in America. By 1906, Meyer was a successful glazier living on Floyd Street in the Woodlands neighborhood of Cleveland and owned three houses which he rented out. He served as a shining example for what could be attained in a land of religious and economic freedom. America is the best country there is, he said in this newspaper interview from September 5th, 1906. In Russia, I couldn't go into an office with my hat on and speak to an official or a Christian, not for a thousand dollars. If I wanted to say a word to a common policeman, I'd have to stand 20 feet away and take my hat off. In America, a Jew is a man. That's why I want all my friends to get citizenship as quick as they can. Meyer died in 1918, seven years before his granddaughter Donna was even born, but his image adorns the walls of her apartment to this day. His wife Ida died in 1932, when Donna was just seven, so unfortunately she has little memory of her maternal grandmother. But the sacrifice of her grandparents for the benefit of future generations in the family must never be forgotten. Like her maternal grandparents, Donna's paternal grandparents, Joseph Weingarten and Zerla, or Sarah Telechansky, emigrated from Russia during the mass migration between 1880 and 1900 to America. Their eldest son, Alex, was born on December 29, 1892, in Motul, a shtetl or small village in the Russian Pale of Settlement in what today is Belarus, but was then part of Imperial Russia. With no break in between pregnancies, Sarah gave birth to her daughter, Lottie, on August 31st of 1893 in Chicago, Illinois. And three years later, Donna's father Samuel was born in Chicago on April 14, 1896. Donna's grandfather Joseph, like a mass of other Russian Jewish immigrants, worked in the garment industry. He was a tailor and had begun to establish himself in Chicago when tragedy struck. In 1898, five years after their arrival in America and two years after Donna's father Sam was born, his mother Sarah died of tuberculosis. Later in 1898, the widower Joseph Weingarten married his second wife, Bessie Gray. For most of Sam's life, he was unaware of the death of his birth mother and was raised to believe that Bessie was his true mother. By 1900, Joseph had moved the family out west to Los Angeles and was working in the men's furnishing business, 
But by 1906, he and the family had left Los Angeles and were living on Central Avenue in Cleveland. While Joseph and Bessie would later return to Chicago, living for many years in Oak Park, most of the Wine Garden children had chosen to plant their roots in Cleveland. 